High up in the mountain there lives a strange race of rock-like people that we actually like a lot. The Gorons. The Gorons are a humanoid rock-eating race that dwell in the mountains, but despite their hulking appearance, Gorons are relatively peaceful creatures. But there's one question we all have, but are too afraid of to ask. How are new Gorons born? They're all just a bunch of dudes. And kids? <laughs> That's not how biology works. Two guys can't make a kid. So I think it's time we find out, because there are some possibilities. Gorons are physically imposing, as the height and sheer size of the average Goron is almost double that of the average human in certain games. They are presumably silicon based due to a strict diet of rocks, and possibly as a result they develop rocky growths on their back as they age. It is implied that the Goron's lifespan is exceedingly long, as in the Wind Waker traveling merchants briefly mistake Link for someone else, before correcting themselves hinting that they have met the Hero of Time and recognized him in the Hero of Winds. If this is true, it means that the merchants have been alive for centuries. Due to the appearance of five different generations of graceful Gorons over the course of 400 years in The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, it can be estimated that the average reproductive age of Gorons is around 80 years. All Gorons that are seen are male and are referred to as such. They call each other a brother, and never once has a Goron referred to another as she or her. In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, one Goron says that manhood can only be reached by rolling with a bomb flower, as if to roll through the explosion. The entire fact that he says manhood implies that they are male, and nothing is said for the opposite sex. Also, many young Gorons are shown as having a father, but no second parent has ever been mentioned. Hmm, how could they reproduce? Let's use biology! Let's start with the birds and the bees, even though that doesn't mean anything because what do birds and bees have to do with intercourse? Great job parents, couldn't you think of something better? But normally you need a female and a male version of the species in order to reproduce, since they both have a different reproduction organ. But is this the only way to reproduce? Well no, there are other options here besides the human way of creating offspring, and for this we will look at snails. Yes. Snails. Different snails reproduce differently, but most snails are hermaphrodites. Being a hermaphrodite means that any given snail can be both male and female at the same time. This can make it a lot easier for snails to reproduce, and quickly make a whole lot of snails. Some hermaphrodite snails do not need another snail to reproduce, but can make more snails all by themselves. This is called asexual reproduction. Other snails are hermaphrodites, but still need another snail to reproduce. There are also some snails that aren't hermaphrodites, but are either male or female, and must find a snail of the opposite sex to breed with. Now snails reproduce very fast, and because most of them can reproduce with any snail, it's very efficient. But could this be the case with the Gorons? Could they also reproduce with any Goron no matter what? It would explain why they are all the same when it comes to their assumed sex. Another clue to this is the Gorons in Skyward Sword. Only three Gorons are ever seen, but later on in the timeline there are way more. So could it be that these three Gorons started to reproduce and created a healthy population of Gorons? Well if they really are both male and female then yes, since they can reproduce very fast, just like snails. Now there's also a second option, and that's that they reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction needs only one parent, unlike sexual reproduction, which needs two parents. Since there's only one parent, there's no fusion of gametes, and no mixing of genetic information. As a result, the offspring are genetically identical to the parent and to each other. No variations at all. They are clones of each other. So could it be that all the Gorons are the same and reproduced on their own? But how would that work? Well, like I said before, they are presumably silicon based due to a strict diet of rocks, and possibly as a result, they develop rocky growths on their backs as they age. Maybe the offspring grows on their back and they slowly turn into tiny Gorons. This would explain why they have a dad. And after a certain period of time, they would fall off the Gorons back and a new Goron is born. But there's one thing that makes this impossible. We do see variations of Gorons. Bigger ones, smaller ones and other differences. We see this with Big Goron and Medi Goron. They are gigantic in size compared to normal Gorons. Besides Big Goron and Medi Goron, 
There are also other large, though not gigantic Gorons, such as Hot Rodder Goron, then Goro and Darbus. But why have we never seen any signs that all of them are both male and female? No hints, nothing. Well, since all Gorons are essentially the same gender, it could mean that they all have two dads, and that's why we never heard of any female parents. They call their own gender male, that's where the confusion comes from. There isn't a female for them, because when you ask them about their parents, the answer is always dad. So could it be that they have two dads instead of one? Or only one Goron raises the kid, and that's why there appears to be only one parent. Besides this, Gorons have a really long lifespan, which we saw in the Wind Waker. But still, there aren't too many Gorons around. So could it be that they rarely reproduce, and that's why we never saw any sign of it? Well, it could be, but it's complicated. So do Gorons reproduce similar to snails? Meaning that they are both male and female? Could this be the secret of the Gorons' biology? Well, I think it will always remain a bit of a mystery. And on the other hand, I have no desire to find out or even see it. Just keep it a private thing, you know? Great that you watched this entire weird video about Goron sex. Yes, it has been lingering on my mind for a while, and I think on yours too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the main page and click on the little bell next to subscribe, so you will get all the notifications for this channel. Yes, you need to click that now.